Excellent. Okay, so we're going over the control panel of the B3D Universal. After the build, we have a, basically a whole bunch of wires coming from the extruder. That's a big thing. And then there's three wires coming from the motors. So wires that look like wires that look like this. Those are, let me just back up just a little bit and I'll zoom in mm -hmm. again. Uh, so wires, these are the motor wires. This is the big bundle. It's on that corner. It's in big the bundle, way. okay. Big bundle of wires from the extruder. Let me just move that back a little bit. Um, in, inside the half inch uh, split wire loom. Then there's also two more things, which is which is the end stops, and the end stops look like these double wires. So three sets of wires. What are the three sets of wires? <laughs> the end stops, the bundle, and the uh, what was the first one? <laughs> yeah, the bundle and the three stepper motors. Three stepper motors. Yeah. yeah. End stop, bundle, and three stepper motors. Yep. So <clears throat> power first. So let's talk about how do we get the power here. So the power comes from the the power supply that's the 24 volt power supply uh, we've got a plug that actually powers the power supply so inside our in our panel we've got the, the ground fault circuit interrupter um, which is connected by a power plug to the wall outlet that allows us to, to power the Arduino. I, I mentioned about how we're doing 24 volts on our Arduino system here, on our overall controller system. But we're feeding the Arduino actually with 5 volts from a simple wall wart, uh, simple USB power supply. So that, that goes into the USB here. For the power from the power supply, that, those wires the, here, the orange and brown, are plugged into the green plug. Now those are the bottom two connections which is the the very very bottom one is negative and then one above it is positive so now here we have power now we can at this point uh, when we're putting it together it's a good idea to test everything as we go along so for example now uh, without anything really connected to it we can see if we power up uh, so we have power to the gfci the light should go on on the gfci there's a little light there like not probably under the plug Okay, there's a little light there. It has a reset on it too. So, and this plug here, we just uh, get a plug from the store and just add little wires to it to uh, put them into the power. That's 120 volts for the power supply. Let's actually do it as we go along. So let's plug it in. Uh, we should get the light to light up on a GFCI. And we should also get the screen to light up. Uh, we actually uploaded the software already, the firmware. So when we plug it in, we should see the, the screen that says D3D Universal and all the controls on it. Yeah. So let's plug into that. And this is good because we're getting like a comprehensive, that's the latest on the overall power, the power system. So you plugged it in. So look at that. So we've got the green light on the GFCI. Was there? Where'd it go? <laughs> Did you uh, reset it or? Uh, no, I think you might have unplugged it from the source. <clears throat> okay, there we go. So we got the green light. We go on that, and there's a reset button on it. Which one is it? Test reset. So, so actually, this is a safety device. So. You can turn it off. I think I turned it off, but see the light actually doesn't go on. Oh no, yeah, it does. Now it's now it's on. We turned on the power supply. So uh, in a default condition out of the box, the GFCI will be triggered, so it's off. So then you have to turn it on. This is test reset, so that tests whether the, the GFCI actually works. Yes, it does. It's actually turning the power off. It takes a little while because there's, I guess, there's some capacitors in there that keep the power on for a little bit. Um, so, okay, so reset it, uh, the light goes on. Now the screen is not on yet, right? Because we're not powering the Arduino yet. The Ar this whole system here is powered by this, five volts. Uh, outside of the power from the power supply, which goes to the 24 volt elements, which are the stepper drivers. 
but like the fine electronics run on five volts, like fine, fine electronics like the screen, like the Arduino underneath there. Uh, so let's plug it in. Yes, we get, we, okay, let's do that again. The proper behavior is that this light will flash a couple of times. The screen goes on and we've got, since we've got the software uploaded, it's D3D Universal V19.11. Um, good. So far, so good. So I think it's a pretty decent idea to, as you go along, to do this because you don't want to like, after connecting everything, you find, oh, well, I got a missing connection right now or this plug is broken or something. So do it one step at a time. Uh, but now, between each step, you want to turn it off like, as you plug things in because you don't want to be to get access to the power there. So let's start connecting the, the stepper motors, let's say. So, um, stepper motors, yeah, let's do that. So we've got three of them. 